I scared you. I like to sleep with my eyes open, because if I close my eyes, I'm afraid that someone will come in and steal all my money. Hi, my name is Mr. Goodman, and welcome to a day in the life of me. I wake up every morning at 6 a.m., not because I want to, but because the sun is beaming through that window! Chives, close the curtain! Very well, sir. Chives, I made a stinky. I'm gonna need you to change me. Very well, sir. See, I don't get up to go to the bathroom, because that's for poor people. I just lay here and defecate in my pants. That is one poopy butthole, sir. Well then pressure wash my ass, Chives! How about a bath? Sounds fantastic. Fantastic. You know how I like it, Chives. Very well, sir. Come with me to the bathroom. Your bath is ready, sir. Thank you, Chives. Every day I start my morning off in a bath of $15 million, all $100 bills, and I even take the bath with my suit on so it saves on laundry. All right, sir, let's wash that tush. You get down there, Chives, and don't forget your snorkel. Very well, sir. Oh, and Chives, can you turn on Tom and Jerry? Sir, it's 6 a.m. Tom and Jerry isn't on. Are you serious, Chives? There isn't a Tom and Jerry streaming service by now? No, sir. My bath has been ruined. Go ahead and pull the drain plug. Very well, sir. And Chives, go ahead and make my breakfast. Very well, sir. Your breakfast is ready, sir. Loaded mashed potatoes and a filet cooked medium. Thank you, Chives. Uh, Chives? Is there an issue, sir? Where are my peppercorns? We were out of peppercorn. Spanking! Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. Every morning, I start my breakfast with a filet mignon, cooked medium, and loaded mashed potatoes. Are you ready for your wine, sir? What type of question is that, Chives? Pour it! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Uh, Chives? Is there a problem, sir? There is a speck of dirt on my wine glass. I can assure you I just washed the glass. Well, there's dirt on it. Was that absolutely necessary? Yes, Chives, because there was dirt on the glass. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. But sir, there are plenty of clean glasses here. I don't believe you, because that one had dirt on it. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. Very well, sir. Now where is my maid? Quinceanera? Uh, Mr. Goodman, my name Patricia. Whatever, Paprika. I spilled my drink and I need you to clean it up. See, si, Mr. Goodman, I'll get right on it. Are you wearing underwear? No, Mr. Goodman, you told me not to. Good. This is my maid, Enchilada, and I've gotten her pregnant seven times because we don't believe in Plan B, only Plan C, because the C stands for cash. We have the kids, I claim them on my taxes, and then we ship them off to Cancun or some shit. Uh, Mr. Goodman, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera because I'm making a documentary of my life. Now bend over and clean up that mess. C. I'm planning on having an eighth child. I wanted a nice view with my meal. Speaking of kids, where's my son Richard? Richard, get in here and eat your breakfast! What do you want, Dad? I was playing Fortnite. I was paying everyone to lose so I could win. Ugh, filet mignon again? I wanted lobster! If you want a lobster, you get your ass out there in that water and you catch one yourself. I hate you, Dad. I hate you too, son. Uh, Dad, I see the maid's tush. Why are you looking? You go eat somewhere else. Okay, Dad, I'll eat in my room. Ungrateful piece of shit. Sir, so I've returned with your new wine glasses. I'm not thirsty anymore, Chives. I would like to play golf. Fetch me my clubs. Very well, sir. All right, sir, I have your balls and your club. Chives, ew, there is a worm on my putting green. A worm, Chives. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll remove him at once. No, Chives, I want you to eat him. Uh, must I absolutely, positively have to, sir? Yes, Chives. I want you to eat him like a bird. Like the white ibis I have a painting of in my kitchen. Very well, sir. How's it taste, Chives? It's chewy, sir. Yeah, I bet. Now watch me get this hole in one. Bitch! Look, you made it, sir. Yeah, thought so. You're so good at golf, sir. Are you being a smart ass, Chives? No, absolutely not, sir. You know what, Chives? Now go get it! In the water? No, in outer space! Yes, in the water, because that's where it went! But sir, there are sharks in the water. I don't give a rat's fuck! You get your old geriatric wrinkly ass in that water and you get my ball. That was my favorite ball. Well, maybe you shouldn't have hit it in the water. Spanking! Yes, sir. Now you get your ass in that water and you get my ball. Very well, sir. 
Sir, I am cracking a golf ball. Now spit it in the hole, Chives. Very well, sir. Hole in one. Now, boat time. But boat time, sir? Ah! Chives, call the police! My boat has been stolen! Sir, you sent your boat out to be painted yesterday. Well, then go to the neighbor's house and tell them I want to buy their boat. But, sir, your boat would be back in four hours. Spanking! <sighs> Why am I being punished, sir? Because during my bath this morning, you didn't remind me that I didn't have boat time today. Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'm gonna go sunbathe by the pool. Very well, sir. Shall I undress you for your swim, sir? Ew! Chives, what is that at the bottom of my pool? It appears to be a leaf, sir. Probably from the tree directly above your pool. Well, I want you to jump in there and get it out. But that's the pool boy's job, sir. Well, now it's your job. So shall I call the pool boy then and let him know he's fired, since I'm assuming his responsibilities? No, I want him to show up and I want him to see you doing his job. That's how he'll know he's fired. Very well, sir. That leaf has ruined my swim time. I want you to drain the pool and clean it. I'm going to go take a drive in my Lamborghini. Very well, sir. This is my Lamborghini. I buy a new one every week when the odometer hits 100 miles, because then it's just too used for me. Oh, chives! What do you need, sir? Call up the airport and have my private jet ready. And where are we going this time, sir? I will be flying around for a few hours so I can think. Are you sure you don't want me going with you in case you need some help, sir? No, but what I do want you to do is, is fetch me Chimichanga or whatever the hell her name is. I believe you mean Patricia the maid. Don't correct me, Chives! Spank him! Very well, sir. Chives, you go to your room and you stay there! Yes, sir. Chives lives in a little room under my stairs like Harry Potter. I had to put him back in his room because he's been snappy today. Mr. Goodman, why you need my help? The car already clean. I don't need you to clean the car, Quesadilla. I need you to clean something else. Oh. This is my private jet. It's fast as fuck. Let me give you a tour of my jet. It's the most expensive jet in the world. All of the seats are made out of elephant asshole skin. This is where Chives flies the plane. His old ass. Wherever I touch on the screen, my private jet will take me. Snacks out the dick. The bottles of water come straight from Fiji. So I'm gonna go fly around for a few hours. I'll see you guys when I get back. Chives, I'm back from my flight. Oh no, he's home! No, oh, no! Oh, Chives, you can come out of your closet now! Oh, yes, sir! Alright, now let's walk around and do a house inspection to make sure you stayed in your closet the whole time. No, we don't have to do that, sir. Oh, we absolutely have to do it. Come on, come yes, on. Sir. Chives, did you touch my pool balls? No, sir, you must have hit them before you went on your private jet. No, I would have remembered that. When I left, they were perfectly wrapped right here. No, oh, how strange. Shall we move on? No, you binge your old ass over this Brunswick label. Very well, sir. Oh! Oh, more than one, sir! Yes. How old are you again, you old fuck? 67, sir. 67 spankings it is. Uh, you stay in your room. Uh, yes, sir. Old. Uh, crusty. Uh, man. Uh, ass cheeks. Uh, Alright, let's check my bank account to see if there's still four commas in there like there should be. Ah, yes. One trillion dollars, just like it should be. Oh, Chives! Yes, sir. Has Marvin paid his house payment this month? I don't believe so, sir. Ah, oh, let's pay him a visit, shall we? Now I'm at Marvin's house to get his house payment. He never has his house payment. Come on, let me show you. Hello? Oh, good man, what are you doing here? I came to get your house payment. What? Why is there a camera crew here? Because I'm filming a documentary about my life. Now, do you have your house payment or not? Uh, I, I, I don't have it this month. All right, well, you're coming with me. Uh, come what? on, come I... on. All right, Marvin, since you didn't pay your house payment, you're gonna live under my stairs for a few days. No, please don't make me do that. Get in there! What? No, I don't want, it smells so bad in there. Because that's Chad's little room, and he has a little pot in there that he has to pee and poop in. And then every day, he's supposed to clean it out. And by the smell of it, he hasn't cleaned it out today. So get in there! Please don't make me go in there. Get in there! Okay! Now you sit in there and you think about what you did. 
Chives! <sighs> you called for me, sir? I did, Chives. Tonight, you will have a roommate. But, but, sir, there's not enough room! You will make his life hell like you make my life hell. But I help you, sir. Do you, Chives? Because I don't see a mimosa in my hand, and it's mimosa time! And you should know that without me having to remind you! Here is your mimosa, sir. Is the glass clean, Chives? Of course, sir. I checked it twice. Dare I look? Go right on. Hmm. Chives, there is a fingerprint on my glass. A fingerprint, Chives! Well, I can assure you it's not mine, sir. I'm wearing gloves. Did you finger fuck my mimosa, Chives? No, sir. Maybe it's your fingerprint. Hmm. Maybe it is. I'm sorry, Chives. Don't worry about it, sir. Ah! I'm tired, Chives, and I no longer want this mimosa, so I want you to stick it up your ass and come tuck me into bed. Stick it where, sir? Ass! Up it! Very well, sir. <sighs> After a long, stressful day, I'd like to have Chives come tuck me into bed. Chives, come tuck me into bed! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Is there anything you need before going to sleep? Maybe a bedtime story? Oh, yes, yes! A bedtime story, Chives! And make it scary! All right, sir. Once upon a time, you were poor. Ah! Too scary, Chives! Show me money! Show me that I have money! Uh, look, a hundred dollars, oh, oh, sir! Oh, oh, good. Oh, that was so scary, Chives! Never tell me a scary story like that ever again! Understood, sir. Is there anything else you need before bed? Maybe a lady for the night? Oh, yes, Chives. A lady friend for the night, because I'm lonely. And what is the budget, sir? Thirty thousand dollars. Ah, going cheap tonight, I see. No, Chives. Actually, this is what I want. I want you to find a girl, have her shave her head, and wear a monocle like the Monopoly guy. Then I want you to take her to the hospital and have her leg amputated because I want to know what that's like. Ah, oh, sparing no expense, I see. Yeah, uh, so go, go fetch. Well, how about I just bring you the lady from last night, sir? <sighs> Fine, I guess that'll do. Understood, sir. Hi. That was fast. She never left. Uh, well, well, she smells too nice. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go outside and run three miles, but I want you to do it bare fit because I like the little black asphalt feet. Okay. Lock the door, Chives. But, but, sir, how will she get back in? She won't! I don't want dirty asphalt feet all over my 100% goose-down sheets. Ew! But you're the one that told her to go run, sir. I know, Chives, but you know what? Cancel it. Lock the door, but I want you to cuddle. Come here. H how about I just go get the lady, sir? Big spoon me, little spoon you, Chives. I want to smell that dirty old man bald head of yours. <sighs> Understood, sir. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a day in the life of me. And that's just my off day. And make sure you tune in for when you see me go to work.